be watching the developments in all scenes, Chris. I mean, the representative has a matter before the court. Uh, we are hoping that maybe very shortly you will have a hearing and tolerated. If that does not happen, and by the time late in the year we are putting our team together, well, he has to understand that you know he has to make way for a new candidate. And now, on the other hand, St. Peter, we have several prospective candidates, all who are very valuable. One so far would have presented um, a list of over 500 individuals who have demonstrated a willingness to support that new candidate. And I think that that is an enormous achievement for a new candidate coming to the table to bring a list of pledges of over 500 individuals. Uh, a seat that typically, if you get about maybe nine, if you get to have a thousand votes, you can win it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the man is almost half, halfway there. Yep. Uh, so I think that that's remarkable. And I have no doubt that, you know, the former representative may run as an independent candidate. But notwithstanding, you know, his propensity to spend money, he's just going to lose his money, going to waste money. I'm pretty sure that we're going to retain that seat. Okay. Now, the other one, mm -hmm. Uh, all since he's in St. Luke, I've made a point that um, Tintin, Colin James, remains a custodian. So if there are any interim issues that we need to address, then certainly we expect you to check with the custodian. But having lost, uh, he's been subject to a challenge by at least two individuals, maybe three so far. And I understand there may be other prospects.